welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video and for being here today so for today's video i'm going to be doing something a little bit different than i've done on my channel but um, i'm super excited to be doing it because i know this type of video would have really helped me a couple years ago when i was struggling with my body image binge eating and just life in general basically what i'm going to be doing today is i'm going to be sharing some of the posts that i have posted on instagram whether recently or in the past and i'm kind of going to go over what was actually happening in my life during that time and the reason i want to do this is because well for one i've seen a couple videos like this so this is not my original idea i've seen a couple other women also showing some of their instagram photos and then kind of talking about their mental health um how their mental health was at that time what was happening in their life at that time and basically from what i've seen not only from these videos but also my own posts is a lot of the time when people are posting really highs about their life you know really great things that are going on that's not always the case in reality a lot of the time people are struggling with things silently people are going through things silently and while i don't think it's their responsibility or while i wouldn't expect anyone to publicly talk about you know what they're dealing with personally i do think it's important to make these type of videos to remind you guys that Instagram is a highlight reel and I don't know I just kind of figured this video would help with people who struggle with comparing themselves to others um because that's something I really really struggled with in the past and I just kind of want to you know be completely transparent what was going on in my life during some of these wonderful photos and before we jump into this I did want to quickly remind you guys that the Inspira yoga mats um are launching this Sunday we have the two designs feeling witchy floral moon um the extended size the extended thickness everything I told you guys about in the last video so if you didn't see my last video I'll put it up here within the first three minutes I go over the mats all of their specs their price everything like that and like I said those will be going on sale June 26 at 12 p.m est I just wanted to repeat that again because I do have very limited quantities of this launch um and I just want to make sure anyone who wants it is able to get it also if you're not following inspira on instagram yet definitely go and follow because i'm giving away free mats um, up until launch so if you want your chance to win a free mat for yoga mat definitely go over there and follow and i'm super appreciative to anyone who does that because it is my business page and i am still the only person in the business so thank you for the support <laughs> all right all right so i'm thinking i'm gonna start with some older posts and i'm gonna go up until recent times because i feel like a lot of my older posts are gonna be a lot more i don't know I feel like there's more to expose in my old posts because that's kind of when I was going through like my eating problems, my exercise addiction, like when everything was kind of shit. So let's go. All right. So this one, this one isn't super interesting or anything. Um, I just wanted to include this one. I don't know. I feel like if you go back in my Instagram, like you can even kind of see the bottom shot, like the next post under this one of me at the bakery. Um, I feel like if you go through my Instagram at this point in my life, you're going to see a lot, a lot of food posts and they're not healthy food. Like they're definitely foods I was binging on. And it kind of makes me sad because I don't know. I just wrote the captions before I knew what was going on, before I knew I was struggling with a binge eating disorder. Like, so a lot of the captions, they just haven't aged well. A lot of them are like, yay, balance. Like, look at all this delicious crappy food I can eat and still maintain my weight loss balance when really it was never balanced just so we're all aware um it was a binge eating disorder paired with an exercise addiction so the reason i never gained weight back is because i was just so active bad times looking back but appreciate the optimism i appreciate how optimistic i was <laughs> all right so this post um i actually i really liked when these photos were taken i thought i looked really fucking hot just so we know um i had just gotten this new movi purple shirt and apparently i wanted to take a little photo shoot in the back the thing you don't know about these photos they were taken in my backyard at my old house with my roommate marley marley for watching this high she took these photos but what you don't know is that i was supposed to be in class and the reason i wasn't is because the night before these photos were taken was actually my first ever gallstone attack uh, triggered by my binge eating that night i literally thought i was going to die and i'm not being dramatic I've never felt anything like that. If you've had gallstones, you know, like if you are not expecting it, it feels like you're being stabbed. Like it was horrifying, it was a horrifying experience. So yeah, um, about eight hours before these beautiful glamor shots were taken, I thought I was gonna die. I was on the floor wondering if I should call the ambulance. All right, so this one, um, this one again makes me kind of sad because you can kind of see a little bit of the caption. I'm talking about self-love. This is probably the time in my life where I had the least the least amount of self-love i was really struggling really struggling this is almost right after i lost all my weight um so this is when i started struggling a lot with my body image and binge eating and yeah it just makes me kind of sad to see a post like i mean i'm glad i posted it right because this post wasn't for me it was for other people to remind them to like 
practice self-love and everything, but it makes me sad that I am portraying that I love myself so much and like I really wanted to love myself and I think I was posting so I would believe it when I was miserable. Like I am not mentally healthy in this photo. All right, so the next photo. So this is for my birthday, um, my 24th birthday and my friend Marley and I, Marley again, hi Marley. You know, I do say in the caption that um, I was eating lots of treats so I was truthful, I guess, but I did not write in the caption what I was actually consuming. Um, in terms of the quantity because this is again when my binge eating was raging so Marley and I we went to uh, Montreal for my birthday she got all those cupcakes um, that you can see which were gone by the time we got to Montreal from Ottawa which is a whole two hours so those cupcakes were in my stomach <laughs> within two hours because on the ride there if you struggle with binge eating you know this feeling on the ride there, I got in that car and I said, I'm only having one cupcake on the way here. And I ate it and it was fine. But just knowing they were there, like I could not focus on anything else. They were behind us and I was like, I can't. I can't focus on what my friend's saying to me. I can't focus on any of the scenery. All I can focus on is the fact that those cupcakes are back there and I'm so hyper fixated on eating them. So I did go in hoping to only eat one on the drive there. They were gone. Marley had some too. I didn't eat all of them, but uh, they were gone. This picture. <laughs> Okay, so this picture, um, I posted this picture right after I filmed my running video. So when I first started YouTube, everyone was requesting a running video, like how I was running. The only reason I'm including this is because this was just a mistake to wear what I was wearing. Like I'm wearing a black craft cult sweater. The issue is their logo. It's a little satanic and I wore it in the video. And from that point forward, for years, I got comments saying I was gonna burn in hell, that I'm a terrible role model, that I'm just like a terrible person for wearing stuff like that. And it was just the logo of the brand. So it didn't really affect me that much because like I obviously know I'm not like fucking antichrist. I don't even believe in religion, but I thought that was kind of just like a funny side story is this is the one, the video and picture that convinced many people that I was the devil. All right, so this picture, the caption. I told myself this morning that I would only eat super clean whole foods. The lie detector determined that was a lie. So if you followed me during this time, you might remember this is like old, this is like 2017. So this is like a long time ago. But if you did follow me, or even if you go back and read the captions, I used humor a lot when it came to food. Like I made jokes a lot about my overeating and my binge eating. Cause I thought it, at the time it was like quirky. Like I said, this is before I realized how much binge eating was gonna fuck me up mentally, physically, whatever. Like I just knew I was overeating, but I didn't realize the effect it was gonna have on me long term. So like I made a lot of jokes like this. Like I told myself I was gonna eat healthy, but I didn't. Haha, <laughs> so quirky. <laughs> We're so quirky. All right, next picture. So this is the first picture I posted after I had my first surgery, um, my tummy tuck and my breast lift. I've talked about my experience with my first surgery a lot. My mental health after my first surgery. That whole time period, 2017, rough year for Jordo rough years 2017 was not my year my body image after my first surgery with my swelling fucked me up like I cried looking in mirrors and this is after my loose skin was removed I, I feel like you can tell in the second picture in me after the surgery picture I was crying right before this picture because ugh, you can tell by my body language I swear you can tell I don't know if it's just me because I'm looking at myself and I know how I am but like I'm literally clenching my hand and like you can tell I've been crying <laughs> I still to this day have not seen anyone swell as bad as I did for my first surgery. A big reason I think why I swelled so bad is because I only got the tummy tuck when I should have gotten uh, my back done as well because all of the swelling just went right to my back and my love handles here. So the skin that wasn't removed, it ended up just like pushing out and I just, I looked really unnatural and it just fucked with me. Um, all right, next one. This one uh, doesn't really have a bad story. I just thought I'd throw it in for jokes uh, <laughs> because uh, when I uploaded this post, I had so many comments asking where I got my black Christmas hat and it's photoshopped to be black. It's actually red and everyone was asking and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, next one, I also just wanted to include this one because I thought it was funny. Who uploads a picture like this to Instagram of themselves? It's literally a headshot. I'm literally <laughs> like no body, just my head. <laughs> All right, next one. So this one's actually kind of cute. This is, um, I took this photo the day before I was going to California to meet Zach for the first time, I had diarrhea, nervous diarrhea, when I was taking this photo. 
Did anyone need to know that? No. But we're talking about the truth, and that's, that's the truth. This one um, was taken in a CBS parking lot because I saw a palm tree, and I thought it was just the most amazing thing ever because we don't have palm trees in Canada, all right? We don't got them. I saw a palm tree and I needed a picture, even if it was in the CVS fucking parking lot. All right, this one. I really wanted to include this one because I was shocked with how well this posted when I posted it. It's from 2018. So for me to get 40,000 likes on any post, even today, is wild um, for my following. But in 2018, it was huge, like, to get that many likes on any post for me. But in 2018, I was much more... I, I really struggled with social media for a bit, guys, and I never really talked about it because, um, I don't know. I just didn't, I don't know. But um, I struggled a lot at one point with my posts. I overthought every single thing. I was very strict with when I uploaded certain days I had to upload and I was just very, very strict with things and it was very bad for my mental health. Do not recommend putting those type of like deadlines and whatever on yourself when it's just social media, but I did. So at this time, I needed to post this day. Like I needed a post and I didn't have one. So I went with this picture. And the reason why I was shocked is because I was so terrified of uploading this photo. Because at the time I thought I looked massive. I have big boobs and my boobs a lot of the time make me look bigger because they're so big. So I think this picture specifically, my boobs, I think, I don't know, were maybe just fucking with my head or something. But I remember looking at this picture and wanting to cry. And uploading it and the second I uploaded it monitoring the comments to make sure people weren't like have you gained weight because I literally thought I like I really thought I looked bad in this photo and now looking at it I think I look great I think I look so cute all right this picture of Zach and I um there's really nothing bad about this photo to share this was actually really fun the only thing I want to share and I want to share it because it's really funny is these are two separate pictures of Zach and I photoshopped together because the picture he liked of himself I didn't like my fucking face in that one and the picture I liked of myself he didn't like his face so I put them together and you can tell if you look at the top those two flowers at the top that's one flower that's supposed to be one flower but I photoshopped it next one this is actually at my friends uh Eric and Christie's apartment and while I look very cute all my friends were out having a blast together and I was being antisocial because of my anxiety and taking selfies in the fucking washroom but yeah guys so that is the truth about some of my Instagram photos just always try to keep it in mind when you're scrolling through Instagram or other social media platforms that people post their highs and they never post their lows so it is not fair to yourself to compare your lows to someone's highs I appreciate you guys so much please remember to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye